This is News 8 Now at 6. The royal divorce and a stamp of approval for moving the main post office. It all made news this very week in decades past. News 8's Dave McKinley is back with News 8 then. Ten years ago this week came official word from the mother country that after years of separation, Charles and Diana were making their divorce official. Here in the colonies, Seal cleaned up at the Grammys. Kurt Waite became the first man to ever win the Pillsbury Bake Off. Mortal Kombat was growing in popularity in a great debate swirled over V-chips and the call by some for Congress to intervene to curb sex and violence on TV. I think you can look at human history and say that Cain killed Abel and didn't have to watch NYPD Blue to get the idea. A uh, point is valid today, perhaps, as it was this week in 1996. <laughs> Twenty years ago this week, a local landmark was in the midst of demolition, though it's not the way you probably remember it or would even care to, for that matter. Uh, we do pose this week's News 8 Then Pop Quiz, which is, do you recognize what this place is, as it appeared this week in 1986? Thirty years ago this week, when, no, your eyes would not have been playing tricks on you, that was the price of gasoline. It was also the beginning of the end for the main post office downtown. The government wants to move its main Rochester station out of that building and into a new one under construction in Henrietta. And which still serves as Rochester's main post office today. Forty years ago this week, as drivers were getting used to the new one-way traffic patterns on major arterials downtown, and when roller figure skating was a popular thing at the Olympic Park rink, did you know that 95% of the costume jewelry peddled in the United States through direct sales was made in Wayne County? It was produced at Sarah Coventry and its sister company, Emmons, which had sprawling factories next to each other in Newark. And then is now the Rochester Police Department had a cadet program where teenage males could get a taste of police work and then possibly join the academy when they were old enough, all at a hefty salary of $1.25 an hour. Among those trainees was a fresh-faced 18-year-old by the name of Lynn Johnston. And by the way, if you see Captain Johnston out there anytime soon, you just might want to thank him for his more than 40 years of service with the RPD, which continues today and which began in the days of News 8 Then. Okay, stop scratching your head. <laughs> Here's the answer to the News 8 Then pop quiz. We asked you if you recognize this regional landmark as it appeared 20 years ago this week while it was being demolished. You're looking at what remained of Roseland Park in Canandaigua, which had closed for good some five months before these pictures were taken this week in 1986.